We just uh, do that. Yo, what's up, guys? It is me, Strahan Ninja Eighty Nine, and welcome to another anime unboxing video. And by the time I record this, it's kind of late at night. But before I'm gonna be going to bed, I got completely lazy, and I totally forgot to unbox this. So yeah. Um, what I'm going to unbox to you today is one of the last of the collection sets that I, surprisingly, I should have gotten this, like, way months on end, but unfortunately, you know, it's been tough for me by collecting anime when it comes to older releases and the newer releases that are coming in, so it's like, fuck. Sorry, just want to make sure I'm Okay. So that's pretty much all I'm basically doing when it comes to, uh, um, when it, when it comes to those kind of harder nowadays, but whatever. Anyways, what I'm about to unbox to you guys is something that is part of the last collection, and now I finally have the very first three, the very, seasons one to seasons four, which means now I have finally everything up to date with the Funimation dub of One Piece for now until season five comes out in this July. So without further ado, let's unbox it. Of course, my favorite ongoing series of all time, read it and weep, bada bing bada boom, bam. One Piece Collection 8. I know it seems like a little bit of a quick unboxing, but uh, unfortunately it is kind of late at night, so I don't want to keep this unboxing too, too, too long, so. Um, this is actually one of my favorite ones, like, out of all of them, because look at that. It's a pretty cool cover. You got Luffy on the special seat, as he called it, the special seat of the Going Merry. Nami, Sanji, Chopper doing this cute little thing. Usopp, Zoro looking beast. Zoro, I mean, Robin looking just fine. Fine as all hell. So, we just take a... Oh, well, I'll show you the back. The back is pretty much... This one I actually like. I think, in my opinion, they kind of could have used this one more. This one actually is a better one that they, they should have used, but... Whatever. Let's just unbox it real quick. I'm not going to show you too much of the T's and because they're pretty much the same thing. What I noticed, it just got to the actual straw hat logo. It's not there. Jolly Rogers, I mean, yeah, that's what they are. They're Jolly Rogers. Um, I'll try to do this with one hand if I can. Unbox this, which hopefully... I got this on sale, by the way, for only $10 on part of the pricing on Amazon. Only got it for surprisingly 10 bucks, which was a pretty good deal, actually. I actually got this for $10, and now I have everything, so... Now, finally, thank God, I'm caught up to everything with the English dub, so... Ah, here we go. Can't open it. Alright, here we go. So, sorry for that. Now we can unbox. Oh, come on, really? Can't take it. Can't take it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so, let's take a look, shall we? And you get your usual Funimation mail. Yeah, pretty much the same thing as all the other collection sets, same thing, same thing, fucking same thing, and fucking same thing. That's pretty much all, so farewell to those collection sets, now just going to the regular season 4 sets, I mean, yeah, I mean season 5 sets, so do, my bad. And also, speaking of which, uh, as you can tell, my anime collection is kind of growing a bit, which, by the way, I will do that as my 100th video for Anime Game Freak 89. That will probably be on that channel. Well, maybe a little collection video I'll probably do for you guys. Maybe my anime collection. Maybe soon enough manga I can try to, but not as much because, unfortunately, they're all in big-ass crates, and I'll have to take out, like, mostly all my manga, and I have, like, all my anime all set here, so... But trust me, once I do move in with my fiance, then you'll probably see a big ass update with that. Maybe sooner in the future with that with all my manga. Mostly filled with One Piece, but mainly also other anime manga based stuff as well, like Higarashi, um, some Bleach, not a lot, Fetty Teru, stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll end it like I always do. Sorry this video was kind of quick. Um, thank you, Funimation, for for giving us One Piece. Now I finally have everything up to date, up to episodes 1 all the way right now to 263. That's pretty crazy that I made it this far with all these episodes. And then this is something definitely for my kids to look forward to when um, I actually have a family and I start getting them into One Piece one day. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I am StrawHeadNG89, over now, seeing the bounce. Anime manga fans, keep the point of what you're reading, what you watch, and... 
Peace. One piece. The fuck out. And stay tuned for my Equestria Girls review should be coming up. Yes, I did finally see the movie. So stay tuned for that. That review will be coming up. And many other videos in the works. So see ya. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Stray Ninja 89 Sorry, I said that because unfortunately, this is my third time recording this. Has my stupid phone memory. Like, I don't feel like doing it, man. God damn it, I don't feel like deleting shit. I'm too lazy. Anyways, um, this unboxing video is going to be nothing out to do anime. It's, it's Fairy Tale Part Five has it doesn't come out until the end of July. So does One Piece actually. It's on the same day. Pff, yikes, I know. So I gotta decide which one I want to get first. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, um, but anyways, this was a series I recently checked out on the Funimation On Demand channel, um, this series used to be on Netflix, but unfortunately it's not anymore, they took it out, and I saw this, um, um, I went to where my cousin is at the, uh, FRE, because I went to go hang out with him, I haven't seen him in a good while, and, I, I mean, usually I know, oh my god, the devil's advocate of buying anime, surprise, surprise, this FRE was pretty damn good to decent, um, it's got some pretty good sales. Um, they actually had some pretty good sales on some stuff, even on the older box sets. Maybe not all of them, all of them. Like, the re-releases of, like, the Trigon MA Classics was a bit way too high. And so was one of the Tenshi Muyu box sets, the ones from Funimation. Even though on freaking Amazon you can get that shit for, like, 20 bucks, or not even, even some good deals. Anyways, um, when it comes to, hold on, I need my cameras to come in. When it comes to this particular anime series, it dies. Okay, it's based on a very popular video game that came out for Nintendo DS, and it was dubbed by Funimation. And I checked out some of the episodes on demand. I'm like, you know what? I'm actually digging this. Maybe one of these days I'll buy it when, um, you know, when I'm not, you know, on vacation or whatnot. But since I was there, I couldn't resist. I actually saw it. I had to pick this up, and. I mean, it said twenty dollars, but it was on sale for like fourteen ninety nine. Very good price. I was like, oh hell yeah, cheap as hell. Definitely picking that up. Got to sustain the industry and budget my money at the same time for vacation because I'm going places on Wednesday, Thursday too, and probably Friday I'm going to Atlantic City. So wish me luck. Hopefully I have my money there. Um. So yeah. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's get this unboxing started of the one and only Sands of Destruction. Now, this game, of course, as you can tell, it's based on a very n popular Nintendo 3, uh, D not 3DS, bleh, DS game that came out uh, about, i say maybe three to four years back. Um, a lot of people say that this anime isn't as good as the video game is, but I saw some of the episodes, and again, I never played the video game, and I have to say, it's a pretty enjoyable series so far. I mean, some people really like it, some people really despise it for not being as good as the video game is. Um, but, yeah, you know, whatever. I enjoyed some of it. And the voice actors are pretty good, too. Um, not Colin Clint. Uh, I forget her name. The voice who does, does, like, Nami and stuff from, like, One Piece and all that. Um, she does a really good job as this character right here. And many other. And that Tepe bear or whatever, the one that goes Kuma, like, in the end of, like, every sentence, is actually pretty hilarious. Um, but, yeah, so without further ado, I'll just get this unboxing started. Just hopefully I can do this with one hand. Hopefully. <clears throat> Give me a sec, I just gotta find open it real quick. Oh, there we go. That was fast. So yep, found an opening. And there's the back of that. It's in one of those save edition cases, but whatever, it's all good. Um you got disc one. Hey guys, change of scenery, so I am back once again. Um, a little jump cut edit here, I know, but I have to switch scenery because I keep getting interrupted. But anyways, here is the rest of Sands of Destruction. Well, you already saw the front from before, and you saw the back already. Now let's take a look at the inside, because I just unboxed it. Tells you pretty much your number of episodes. Well... Obviously, it's your number of episodes. You got your disc one. I heard the original box set was kind of better because you get like two of those like side things. Like you get like, you know, like two little um, DVDs inside it. But whatever. I mean, I saw it on sale, so I just grabbed it. 
Because I was kind of really enjoying this series, but it's a shame that Netflix doesn't have it, and On Demand keeps kind of skipping it, so... Yeah. So, anyways. Um... Yeah, that's technically it, really. So, yeah. I will probably do a review on this when I'm done watching it. And plus, I'm pretty much almost done rewatching watching Soul Eater, anyway. I got, like, two more episodes left on that box set, and then maybe I might do a review of that series as well, but I'm not so sure... Yeah, maybe, maybe. I may do a review on that. I'm going to do a review on Soul Eater. This will be on the list. And I know people have been waiting for Shakigan no Shana, what I think of the final season. I know I haven't done that yet. And Inuyasha, the final act. Oh my god, how long have I put that shit on, on hold? Jesus. So, yeah, that's technically it. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. Um, I'll end it just like I always do. This is, a. Uh, yeah, go back to me. Stride Ninja 89, over and out, in the bounce, peace out. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch, and peace the fuck out. Later.